I'm Creative Crambo, back with another one. Yeah, so I've got some new flooring going down, but also as well I want to change up the skirting boards here. And taking these old skirting boards off, you always get the plaster crumbling away like that. And it'll probably be the same thing. Taking these off like that. Years ago, all they've done is dogged a, a few nails in there. I'll just show you as an example. Okay. Yeah, so you can see there. Loads of plaster missing there. And down there. All the way through there. So when I do my new flooring, um, I really need to be making that plastic good there. Bring it down and ready for me to fix the new skirt on there. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'll show you the mix I use for that. But it's all got to be done before I put the down the new skirt bolts. Yeah, this is what I'm using to fill in those gaps uh, from the old skirt that's coming off. Um, it's the Thistle uh, One Cold Plaster and uh, that's what I'm using. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got a little bit of water in there and then I'll just get the plaster in there. I'm going to make this a little bit thick as well because some of them gaps are a little bit wide and deep so you just get your plaster in there like that I'm using a paddle mixer as well just makes your life a little bit easier just add a bit more in there I always rinse it up in there as well. Okay. As you can see there, it's it's nice and thick that. I'm gonna put that on me on me hook. Then we can start filling those gaps in. All I'm using is a six inch travel like that. It's lovely for just getting it in. And what I normally do is just get in there like that first. Just working my way along. And then with your trowel like that, just get that nice and flat. I'm going to have to repaint that wall again though, so it's not a problem. Just get it in like that. Work your way along. Got to fill all those gaps in for the new skirting. 
going on with this one coat it's ideal as well so you haven't got to worry about it after you've done it just get it in there you go and then just get that out flatten off loads of gaps in this yeah so I'm going to carry on through there I've got to work my way down there as well on that back wall but I'm going to get all the, the gaps filled in with the one core, core plaster there and uh, make a nice job of that too so let me crack on with that So if you're taking off your old skirtings and you had a lot of gaps and holes at the back, just really plaster it like that. Keep it nice and flat. Not only that, doing this helps out with the new skirtings as well um, to get to get a decent fixing. I'll be using a nail gun of mine, so that's definitely going to help me out too. Also, as well, uh, when the plaster don't go down to the floors. You know, you do lose a bit of thermal. And also as well, that's going to help out with the sound as well. Just fill those gaps in. That's the easiest way to do it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next one.